Hello. I thought today we could talk a little bit about red lips. It was something that always scared me. In fact, when I first thought about red lips, my grandmother hardly wore any makeup and my mother would occasionally wear that sort of number seven coral. So I didn't get acquainted with red lip until I was kind of grown up. Before then, I was just sort of, you know, out there makeup, which I didn't want to do. And I also had spots, so it really put me off wearing a red lip. But as my skin got better, then I met red lips. I kind of love them. They are such a solution for me in different things that I wear when I'm not making effort and I just want to do one thing. Prepping lips. When you're wearing a strong lip, you just need to think about how you're going to prep your lip. And I use Miracle Blur because for me, I've got lines and I need to cover up those lines around my mouth. You can also use, you know, a product to stop your lips bleeding. But I do believe there's a good opportunity and a reason to do prep work around a lip. With a red lip, it's rare that I'll do a really strong eye. I sit in this kind of neutral place because I haven't got tremendous warmth or coolness throughout my skin, hair and eye. But if you sit in a very warm place, which could be your skin, hair and eye combination is overall warm, you need to go for those sort of tomato reds. And if you sit in really, really cool, you need to go for the very blue red slash pinky red. So example to me is very warm, is there, that's uh, Sweeney. And very cool, there, which is actually Valentina. Now sitting in the middle, Rossi, lip to cheek. So really warm, neutral, and really cool. That's kind of nearly pinky red. It's very important because you might have tried a lip in your life and you just didn't have the right shade. And when you're wearing those things, so when I'm wearing very warm, like if I'm doing like Sweeney, I'll do it with warm eyes, very neutral eyes, but warm. When I'm doing really cool, I'll do like moon and sun. The least I could do as a lip, a little bit of gloss and just is a token hello, which would be like mama. And that's sheer shimmer. I put that on like that. And it's just a nod. And because it's a sheer shimmer, I put it on my cheeks. And that's like if I bit my lips. It's such a soft little hello to red. But it's a very unscary way. And also because it's a sheer shimmer, it makes your lips feel really full. So I love that. Now, an alternative route, and now I'm going to do a neutral, is to do a lip to cheek. So I'm going to use Rossi. This is for somebody who wants to kind of pretend it's their natural lip. So there's nothing on it that will make you feel you've got product. So I take Rossi like that and I start tapping like this. But you still see the texture of my lips. That's why I like a lip to cheek, because there's no shine. And there are days when you might just think, oh, I was born like this, honey, with a little bit more color. And then you can just put a little bit of the same shade like that, because it's a lip to cheek. But that's really just neutral. And then I could, if I wanted to, use a little bit of our lip treat. So if your lips are really dry, this is a lovely way to do it too. Put that over. But our lip treat, which is incredibly good overnight treat for your lips, it's still not shiny, but I've got a bit of a color on my lips. So that's a really lovely way. And for some people, we always have, let's talk about old wives' tales with lips. Because I would say, oh, my lips are yellow, Trini, so how can I wear a red lip? And I just go, kibosh that, you know, just embrace it. A red lip gives you something. It gives you this kind of presence. And it's far more important to have that feeling of what that presence gives you than to worry about slightly yellow teeth, which probably are much more yellow to you than they are to other people. Now, let's say I wanted to build up a bit more, so. I'm gonna now go to Sweeney. Sweeney I wear as a shade when I want to do a stripe or I wear navy. And you can see the brightness. There's like, I'm really wearing a lip. And when I do my lip, I don't like a cupid's bow. So I like to go straight across in that sort of French way. Do a little bit further than my lip is so that it goes straight across. And I just think it's a more modern way to do a red lip. Always remember when you're doing a red lip so you don't turn into your gran with lipstick on your teeth is to, mm, have a little wash around with your tongue and then take off with your finger. And that is what would have been on your teeth. And then you can be rest assured, nobody will come and say, you've got lipstick on your teeth. But this color to me is a joyful, joyful color and immediately makes my eyes brighter. And generally I do very soft eye makeup with this. I could do nothing or I could do a tiny swatch of fortune like that. It's just that little glimmer. Or I could do a little bit of sun if I'm being on a summer holiday. Sun is really a rendition of a summer holiday. This is beautiful for a sort of warmer skin tone, but that is lovely. Blusher, I mean, I've got the blusher on that I had on before from Rossi, which is kind of okay, but otherwise I might use a really soft flush blush called Electra. It doesn't fight with the red because you might think, oh, blusher, what do I do? What do I do? Just don't fight the redness of the lip. You know, I can do Rossi because it's neutral with Swaney. So I'm gonna keep that on for now. But you just see, look how blue my eyes have become with that lip on. And it's just such a quick little thing. So, next. If you have 
cool toned, you could consider a little bit of Tannis lip glow. This kind of rose buddy lip that you get with that sort of natural beauty that Tannis is. And so it's replicating that sense of that I've just bitten my lip moment, whatever your skin shade is, that it replicates that. So putting it on there, just like that. So it looks quite red in the pot, but when you put it on, you can just have a little bit like that. And I tend to with Tallis, because I use this quite a lot, is I'll just put it on my cheek, because I want that glow. Even though this isn't sheer shimmer, which has shimmer, this has glow. Gives my cheek that sort of puffed wellness that I might get from a good skincare routine. So then you can bump up Tallis if you can really make Tallis stronger, so I can go like that and just make it stronger. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you other little tricks. I'm gonna go with Dima, which is the cooler red, and put that on. And when I'm wearing white, sometimes just to make a fresh, sharp impression, I will do a red lip instead of a smoky eye. Doing that real French moment and like taking away all of my top lip. Mm -hmm. When we do this, by the way, if we go, oh, which a lot of people tell you to do, what can happen is you can then overdo that line, which you don't want to do. So I don't always do that. I might do it gently and do, Mm, like that. So that gives you that full lip. So let's talk about your brows. When you do a strong red lip, you need to balance out with a strong brow because otherwise everything is going to go towards that point. So make sure are your brows balancing out. I've just had my brows tinted so they are quite strong. So all I'm going to do is actually put on some Talika eyelash conditioning gel and just lift them up. And then I realised that I have still on my warm eye makeup so I'm going to change that take that off and I'm going to go semi cool I'm going to take you could take anything you could do a really clean fixing up the eye and I use justice and if your eye socket is darker you can use wisdom or you can use faith but just to really make a very very clean eye like that and then you could do a tiniest little line here if you wanted to kind of go to that Parisian Frenchness so let me see let me see if I can do that oh challenging myself aren't I I'm going to do lovers actually which is not black, black, but I'm gonna do a little extra strength there. So you see it tiniest extra definition. There, little demon. And last up, I'm gonna do what is probably my favorite lip, Valentina. So, you know how much I love yellow. When I wear yellow, sometimes it can be on a day where it's nearly too strong for me. So I always do a strong lip to counteract the strength in that color. When I wear this yellow, I wear Valentina Lip Love. So this is a 3D metallic lip. It's a really strong lip. It gives you the most amazingly full lips. And it's that cooler, pinkier red. But even just seeing that, you, ba you see I've balanced out the strength of that yellow on me. I like to put on a strong lip with a lip brush because I get a better finish. So I've done that. And then I think to myself, okay, what do I need here? I do need with this a bit of blusher. So I'm going to take, this is one time, funny enough, I use a brush, but I'm gonna use Katrin, which is the sort of cooler shade of our flush blush, because it is such a strong red. I'm just gonna buff up some color on my cheek. And then probably on my eyes, I might do moon, which is cool. So I just put that glimmer of moon on the top. Like that, there. I think in life there's a red for everyone and if you've been really scared of wearing red think that it needn't be red red it can just be a hint 